Hi, my name is Vince, and we're going to be looking at um, Studio One today. Um, we're going to be looking at latency issues. They're usually the first thing you encounter when you load up your DAW. Um, it doesn't matter what DAW it is, any of them. Um, you normally will have to make some changes in your settings. So we're going to look at those today. So if you're having latency problems, this is probably your number one uh, reason why. Okay, so um, I'm going to load up Studio One. Click on that. I'll try and give some examples of latency as well with the guitar, so I'll make some changes. Uh, we're going to be building a song, by the way, um, so we're going to go. We're going to look at a series of these videos. So we're going to we'll deal with the boring stuff first, and this is really boring, by the way, um, but it kind of is really important to know. Um, then we're going to build some build a song. We'll just take a basic blues song. We'll I'll show you how to put a track down, record a track, uh, then another track. We'll just go from there. We'll, we'll keep it really simple because that's where I was six months ago, and videos like this really did help me out. Okay, so we've loaded Studio One. Um, take no notice of these. These are already songs that I've got on the go. Um, if you're new to this and you've never recorded on it before, which is kind of what I'm presuming, um, then you won't have anything here. Okay, so the first thing you can see is where we've got set up here you've got a little picture of your interface um, it won't be an exact replication of your interface but it will certainly pro hopefully tell you what interface it is mine is a personas studio 1810c and that's what it says there i haven't filled that out um, if yours doesn't come up um, just click on the icon and you'll get this um, pop-up window it will automatically default to audio setup, which is perfect. It's almost as if it's intuitive enough to know where your first problem is going to be. And they're right. So audio device, studio USB, where it says that there, just click on there. And if you're using Personas, you'll get a list of other Personas uh, products, interfaces that you can choose from. Okay. If you're using a uh, Focusrite, it will do the same thing, probably Behringer Mackie so and so whatever so mine's showing up the first thing you'll see you'll notice is device block size now this is your uh, this is your otherwise known as your buffer buffer size so in here we'll deal with this first of all if we hit the uh, drop down box you'll see there's uh, anything from 16 samples right through to 2048 samples um, the rule of thumb is basically if you're recording your guitar or your piano or your vocal, whatever it, it might be, if you're recording, then you're going to be needing to use the lower sample rate. So 16 is probably overkill. 32 is fine, that's what I use. 64, 128 is also kind of okay. Um, but I use 32, so use the lowest you can possibly use I, I guess for mixing you need to be using the higher sample rate so anything from 512 to 2048 I usually go but about 1024 and I, again it's fine by default studio one comes as standard I think out the box at 512 samples I can't remember it exactly but I think it was 512 and I did get problems with latency um, and that's kind of how I know about this because it's only when you get problems you start looking for answers okay so <clears throat> I've set the sample rate now at 2048 samples which is as high as it can go and that's kind of where you would be for mixing you know just to give you an example if you turn on your your DAW and your interface and you're getting latency issues it will sound like this so I don't know how well you can hear that but as I'm I'm hitting the string the sound is not coming out of the speakers until about 250 milliseconds later mm -hmm. 
it's kind of like when them old, you know, those old films where they kind of lip sync everything and the lip syncs all out with the, and it's really distracting. And you end up watching a whole film just watching people's mouths. Uh, and you're not actually watching the film at all. That's the equivalent of this, and it's really irritating. Okay, so now we're going to fix that. So I'm going to now, in the device block size here, you can see I've set it just ridiculously high. So now I'm going to click that, and I'm going to go back to my default, which is 32 samples, which is what I use all the time. And I click that. <laughs> Perfect. It's, it's playing as, as I'm hitting the string, I'm hearing the sound immediately. That's exactly what you want. So if you're getting issues like that, that's what's known as latency and that's how you fix it. Right, the next thing to look at is sample rate. Um, I guess the industry standard is 48 kilohertz and there's good reason for that. That's because it's the best. Your options here are <clears throat> 44.1 kilohertz, which is CD industry standard. 48 kilohertz is kind of like the standard these days, um, especially with video. Um, so if you're planning to put videos to your music, then 48 kilohertz is, is where you need to be. As you can see in Studio One, uh, my samples I can access and I can change them, whatever. I can't, I don't seem to be able to change my sample rate. So, what I do there is if you hover over here, you can see control panel, you click on that, and that brings up, well it's flashing here, it brings up what's called universal control. Now, I'm not sure how other DAWs handle this, um, I guess you probably do it in the DAW, which kind of makes sense, but I, although I don't know, it's been a long time since I used Pro Tools, and I can't remember. Anyway, in here, in Universal Control, you can control that. So you can go all the way from 44.1 to 192. You can see a nice, uh, accurate graphic of my um, interface here. It would be nice if Studio One could do the same thing, considering this is all Persona. So. But anyway, that's how you get to um, change your, your, um, your sample rates, if you need to. So if you, if, it, if you can't figure it out in Studio One itself and it's not changing what you want, you can, um, you can change it in. Head over to Universal Control. It comes bundled with the software, so you, you'll have to have some Universal Control whether you like it or not. That's, um, so if you're getting latency issues, this is where you're um, most likely going to fix them. Um, your input latency, your output latency are all visible here. And um, just click that OK and you're done. Take care of yourselves and see you again soon. Ciao for now.